Hey everybody, it's the moment we've all been waiting for. This is going to be our third go around with the Kratky hydroponic lettuce um, using the coffee cans, the Folgers coffee cans. Um, this method for me was inspired by MHP Gardener. I would definitely recommend that you check out his stuff. The guy is totally amazing. Um, the first go around I had didn't go so well. The second go around I used a hydroponic fertilizer like I did the first go around but I used natural sunlight so the first time I didn't have adequate lighting because I was using a plant light inside which isn't enough. The second go around I did the exact same thing but I used natural sunlight outside because it got warm enough to have my lettuce outside without it freezing. This time I'm going to do the same thing outside with natural sunlight but I'm going to use the same fertilizer that Bobby uses, MHP Gardener. Now he's got details on his uh, site or his uh, videos on how to mix this up. This is Master Blend and some calcium nitrate and some uh, Epsom salts that I had measured out inside and put in here. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add this to this bucket and I'm going to fill that up as a five gallon pail. I'm going to fill that up with water and use that the same nutrients that Bobby uses this time and I suspect I should get even better results than I got last time. Now this is a five gallon pail and uh, since it's five gallon pail um, I measured out appropriately for five gallons according to what Bobby had on his video. Now, last time I got some pretty great results um, using the hydroponic fertilizer, but I'm expecting this time that I would get even better results because it seemed to take a little bit longer than I anticipated for the lettuce to come up um, and to grow. So I'm hoping that it gets faster results because on Bobby's videos he has a couple of, a later video he has a uh, couple of different types of um, fertilizers he does side by side and the master blend did the best. Uh, that's what's in here now. So. Alright, so you don't need to see me fill this up completely. I'm just going to fill that up. But I want to show you another thing is I'm not starting with starts. I just put a seed, a seed in uh, some rock wool and let a couple of them come up. And uh, I'm going to basically use a little pair of scissors to cut out when I have more than one seed coming up in each one. I'm going to take some scissors and cut that out so that there's only one plant per rock wool. So I'm going to fill up this bucket and you'll be right back with me. Alright, so this is full and I mixed it so my arm is all wet. <laughs> Anyways, um, I'm going to be filling up one of these and using it to fill the other ones. So I'll come back here. And one of the things that I've noticed is that when I put this in, I put a net cup in and I try to see when it just starts to hit the bottom. Okay, um, get a little bit more water and take a look. And right there it's just starting to hit the bottom and with these particular net cups that fills that's just about up to this part right here that little knee okay so 
I'm going to fill up the other one. Same way. Come about the same. Come about the same part. one is this one here. I'm going to go about up to there. All right, so now I have five of these set up. See, I'm putting that in, and you can see that it just about comes up to the bottom. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put some of my plants that I've already started in Rockwell in these containers. I'm certainly not an expert at hydroponics. This is a new thing for me altogether. Um, but I started this one before I started that one. And, you know, one of the things I want to do is have a rotation where there's a couple of heads of lettuce or whatever. Um, I ideally wanted to have two heads of lettuce every week. And um, I don't have enough coffee cans to do that. But what I do have in my self-watering container over here, a bunch of other lettuce that is already going. So what I'm hoping is when the time this is ready to harvest, some of these guys should be kicking into gear. Um, or I could do like kind of like a rotation. All right. One of the concerns that I do have is that the rock wool in these particular net pots leaves a little gap there and I don't want mosquitoes to get in there and breed. So I'm going to take another piece of rock wool and cut it up and um, get that going. Put it in the side, stuff it in like I did with this one over here and that one. The seed didn't come up in that one, so I'm going to drop a new seed in that one. So, I'll be right back. What did I do with my extra nutrients? I put them into this watering bucket that I have here. And that watering bucket is feeding this that has a, this bucket has a float in it. and keeps a level for all of these tomato plants over here. It's a bucket watering system, self-watering system for some of my tomatoes. So I had like two and a half extra gallons of nutrients figured you know, instead of waste it, just throw it in here and have it go to my tomatoes. Okay, I'm gonna get inside and cut up some of that rock wool. All right, so I'm back. There they are. What I've done is I took a little pair of scissors and I snipped a, uh, the other ones that were growing in this pot over here and in that net pot I dropped another seed down the middle see what comes up and so far we are off with the third experiment this one is using the same fertilizer that Bobby's using Alright, 
cool. So Bobby, if you see this, you totally rock, bro. Thanks so much for putting this out, the information out, and uh, I've grown a lot by your work, and I truly appreciate it. I ask, you know, my viewers that are interested in this kind of stuff, just, you know, take a look at what Bobby's doing, man. He's, he's cool, and uh, really great people. I check him out. The fertilizer, the details for the fertilizer, um, is on his channel, so I would recommend you go over there and check it out. Uh, it's 10 grams, 10 grams, 5 grams of uh, the different ingredients and you mix them together in 5 gallons of water and put them in these things. I figured while I was at it I would start one here, see what happens. You know, I might have another coffee can ready to go in a little while and just plug that one in. Okay, everybody take care, and catch you later. So thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my video channel here on YouTube, and check out my blog at www.cooking-italian-recipes.com for great Italian recipes, tips on organic gardening, winemaking, and uh, herbalism and all other kind of fun stuff that I'm into. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. Tell your friends. Take care.